Hi, I'm Gary Wilson at America's Teaching Zoo at Moore Park College. Communication is very important with, <laughs> with all kinds of primates, as you can hear with these capuchin monkeys behind me. Gorillas are, of course, known for the big chest-thumping display that they do to communicate aggression. That's how the dominant silverback communicates that he's in charge. It's a big, powerful display to let every, everyone else know who the boss is. But they do much more subtle communication as well. The, a young gorilla will communicate to its mother by whimpering or crying. At one of the zoos, they were worried how good a mother this gorilla was going to be because she had been raised by people instead of by gorillas. And when she became pregnant and was going to have a baby, they were worried that she might not take care of that baby. But by listening to her baby, she became a very good mother. If she started to walk away while the baby was on the ground, the baby started crying and she immediately reacted and came back and scooped that baby up and the baby stopped crying. And so she learned to be a good mom that way. The, bab the gorillas also, as they move through the jungle, they're moving through this dense vegetation, so it's hard to see each other sometimes. So they often keep up sort of a running conversation. They're just grunting as they move along, and if a gorilla grunts and he doesn't hear an answering grunt from somebody, then he'll look up and say, hey, where is everybody, and he'll catch up with the group. So that way they can stay together as they move through the dense jungle.